Mary Meat. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing a very easy, simple, and extremely powerful protection spell. And it's called the Witch's Bottle. And many of you have already heard how to do this, and I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. This particular Witch's Bottle should be done on a Sunday, preferably the first Sunday after the full moon. All right, and all you need is, the way I do it, is a bottle of orange blossom or orange flower water, some nails, various nails, and then some paper clips. And the first thing you wanna do is open up the paper clips so that they, that they, ha that they are like a boomerang, like this. So you wanna have several like that where they're opened up. Alternately, you can, you can take uh, some, uh, some tools and bend the nails, but I find this to be just as effective and it's so much easier. Okay, so you just uh, do that for, uh, you know, three or four of these paper clips is plenty. Okay, and the idea is that it rebounds any negative energy sent towards your dwelling, right? And it confuses it. That's the, that's the symbol here. Now these nails are here to, uh, because they're pokey, they're sharp. You can also put other sharp things in there. I mean, if you, if you like break a glass or something, you could put some glass shards in there. Um, I just don't like doing that kind of stuff because it tends to be a little dangerous. So this really, really is sufficient. If you have a few paper clips that you've done that with and then some, mm -hmm. some uh, nails. Now what I like to do is I like to just take the label right off of the orange flower water. If you can do it without causing too much of a problem, that's great. Otherwise, you can just leave it on. But I like it, I like it to have no um, label. I think it's nicer. Okay, and then you just take this, it's really simple, and you just plop them all in here. Just like that. And these go in just like this. You gotta just stuff them down there. And you can chant all the while, a protection chant. I prefer to just be silent and to see a golden light permeating the space and definitely seeing that golden light moving in to the bottle. Then I just put a cap on it if you want to get extra witchy, you can put some wax on that if you'd like. And then you just charge it. You just see that you build a thought form. So the way you do that is you see a golden light moving through this, through this bottle and you see it becoming like a globe or ball of light. And then once you feel like it's charged, all you have to do is say, so mote it be, and you traditionally bury this by your front door. Now, if you're not in a place where you can do that or you just don't want to do that, it's okay, as long as you hide it somewhere in the house. Now, some people say it needs to be facing this way or facing that way, it really doesn't matter. Just anywhere where it's out of sight, close, closer to the front door of your dwelling is best, but really anywhere at all is fine. And when you do that, you see that this, this, this thought form that is inherent in this bottle starts to expand and grow and it encompasses the entirety of the dwelling the entirety of the dwelling. And that's all there is to it. That's how to make a witch's bottle. It's very easy. It's very simple. It's extremely powerful. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to work with you again. And until that time, blessed be. Blessed be.